What's up guys, my name is Carl Spurdo. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. It's been a while since I've uploaded on YouTube and I felt like I needed to upload today just because I wanna give you guys an update of my hairstyle. And fall's here, we're sailing through the pandemic and I know that hairstyle for fall could be very tricky because there's a lot of options. Some people like to grow it out completely. Some people like to go a little bit shorter. Some people even like to go bald, which I really suggested once because it's just easier to maintain overall and it looks good. For me, it's going to be a nice hairstyle that I just did for you guys uh, coming up right now. So if you guys want to see that, stay tuned. And essentially, I just want to give you guys a background on why I decided to keep my hair the way I did. That is because it's a lot easier to maintain. A shorter side, longer top is very versatile. You can still get a lot of different hairstyles, especially if you have wavier hair type. It's just easier to do a different a variation of hairstyles, like having a very textured forward fringe or doing a nice volumized pompadour. So. For me, it's a lot more fun having hair that I could do a little bit more with, especially during fall time because it is hat season and that means that when you do wear a hat, you get hat hair. If you have shorter hair, then you don't really necessarily have to worry about that. And if you are in a place where you have to wear a beanie, you have to wear some type of head covering because it's too cold, then it's just easier for you to maintain that nice, elegant, clean look because when you do have shorter hair, all you have to do is readjust it and don't worry about it being super crazy, super shaggy or your hair even getting wet under your beanie. Because I know those hairstyles, they're really fun, but also they're just a lot more work, especially for fall. So that's the reason why I kept my hairstyle the way I did. It's a low taper. I went very short on the sides, about a one. And I did a low taper on the back as well. And the top, I actually cut it to like three and a half maybe, just because it is COVID season as well. And I don't get to go to my hairstylist as much as I want to. So I have to take advantage of it. So I said, go ahead, cut it to three, Nando. All the way to three. So that's what I did. Just giving a quick intro, let's get back into this video right now, guys. I appreciate you guys coming back to my channel. Thank you guys, thank you guys, thank you guys. Let's get into this video. All right, guys, so here's my hair at its natural state. I did blow dry it just a little bit earlier in the morning, so it is kind of damp right now. To share with you guys exactly the process that I go through, I always take a round brush comb per usual, and I literally just try to find the places that have the heavier waves and the heavier curls that I want to manage because it just makes my hairstyle a little bit better. But unless I'm going for like a messy forward fringe and I really don't need a round brush comb, but for the sake of this video, I want to go for a little bit more of a voluminous look, a volumized look, and I want to wear my hair up like this. So I'm just going to share with you real quick how that's done. So the first thing you need is a blow dryer. Now that that's done, obviously you could tell my hair is a little bit more straighter. It has a little bit more manageability to it. Manageability to it, and um, yeah, I could do it either direction. I like to go sometimes against my um, cowlick, cowlick that I have right here because it just gives it a little bit more volume. It's a little bit easier to manage. This way is okay as well, but I feel like there's less volume, and it will just end up going this way. So just make sure that you know exactly where your cowlicks are and how to manage that cowlick because that's very important to get the hairstyle that you want. And sometimes a slight adjustment to your pre-styling could definitely make your post-styling amazing. So now we have some chapter styling cream and essentially this is what I've been using for a very long time now. You guys could get it at chapterhair.com. It's a nice pliable medium hold matte finish styling cream. It almost feels like a clay but it breaks down like a cream. And if you guys go to chapterhair.com all the promotions will automatically already be in your cart so don't even worry about that. I got you guys covered. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply this chapter styling cream. Let me show you guys exactly what that feels and looks like. There it is. So that's definitely enough to start at the base of my hairstyle and make sure that it's evenly distributed starting from the back, working it from, working it to the front. volume is much more heavier when I style my hair this way uh, because of the cowlick. I could also do it this way. It's a little bit less, but eventually my hair will just fall and fold down because that's just how my natural hair is. So can't do nothing about that. I don't want too much volume because I feel like too much volume sometimes looks a little bit too goofy. And essentially this is the hairstyle that I'm rocking for fall as well. I know sometimes longer hair 
feels better for fall, but hair doesn't necessarily make you that warm when you're like, I need it's fall. And where it's fall and you just need your hair very long because it's gonna keep you warm. It doesn't make a difference. And for me, I like having shorter hair during fall time just because I do wear hats or if I were to put on a beanie or a cap, whatever you put on during fall, then it's just a lot easier to restyle your hair once you take off your hat and the hat hair isn't really necessarily super like and also sometimes it looks too shaggy when you do have a hat and your hair is just falling everywhere and your hair is falling out everywhere. I just kind of like more of a cleaner look. But I'm gonna add a little bit more of this chapter styling cream because I think I need a little bit more hold. As you can see, it's pliable. It goes in my hair super easy. I could even like dig into my scalp, which is really bad for your hair. Don't do it. But just to prove my point, it does break down very easily and it does have a nice hold and make sure that the volume is nice and even and even on the back i'm a big fan of having hair on my on the occipital bone back here i really want to keep that weight and that volume because it makes your hair look a little bit more well-rounded it makes your hairstyle a little bit more well-rounded and it doesn't look as flat so i like the dimension that it gives me and i always ask my hairstylist nando please keep it long in the back the occipital bone don't cut the top really doesn't matter because it could always be restyled and especially when you're using a very pliable product white chapter hair styling cream that allows versatility and it doesn't dry super hard and it doesn't dry super sticky so you're always able to just like adjust your hair which is something i look forward to nothing worse than touching your hair and feeling uh, a lot of grease and it totally depends also on your hairstyle if you are going for more of a greasier like greaser slick back look and you want some pomade obviously that just comes with the nature of the product so you can't really blame uh, having greasy fingers after restyling your hair when you're wearing a pomade but for something like this i know what i get i know what i want and that's exactly what i get from chapter so i know that it's going to be able i'm going to be able to restyle my hair if the wind hits it it's all good it's not going to dry out completely it's always going to maintain its hold and that's what i like the life of the product so there you guys have it that was my hairstyle super easy guys all i needed was a round brush comb a blow dryer and also these tools depends on the hairstyle you're going for definitely always recommend blow drying your hair just at least at least until the damp stage because if your hair is on the curlier side or the wavier side you're always going to need a little bit more moisture so so don't strip out the moisture 100 percent by blow drying it all the way and if you do have more of a finer hair where you, your hair is extra extra moist then you could go ahead and blow dry all the way. But it totally depends on your hair type. Pay attention to your scalp and see exactly what's happening because that makes a huge difference in your routine. And it can mean your hair looking super good to just looking and feeling completely terrible with just a simple mistake like blow drying. So get the tools that you need, get to know your scalp, see what's happening and just pay attention. That's my biggest, biggest advice to anyone who is trying to achieve a really good hairstyle. And also, and also like I and also like I and also the product that I use in the video is chapter hair styling cream obviously uh, you guys could go ahead and find that at chapterhair.com you don't need a code like I said like I said previously you don't need a code like you don't need a code like I said previously all you guys have to do is check out and it'll be already automatically deducted just easier but you guys could use Carlos I guess that's fine. thank you guys so much have an amazing weekend I will see you guys very soon with another hair video. Don't forget to comment your hair type and your current hairstyle so I could go ahead and make some videos with those hair types in mind. So I appreciate you guys stopping by my YouTube channel. Don't forget to put style on everything. As always, with so much love, Carlos Roberto, peace out.